Hi, 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 everyone. Yeah, it's me again, Mr. Delicious, and we are still in the tutorial and revision for the Grade 10 Mathematics uh, Pass Exam Paper 2010. Okay, so now this time we are now in question number six. So this is the question number six. The question number six is uh, find the area of this quadrant when the and you by using the value of the pi as equal to 3.14 so this is a quadrant a quadrant is a quarter of a circle okay that's a quadrant so if you look at the check the uh, the diagram carefully if you encounter a quadrant or a semicircle you don't have to panic because everything is going back to the basic which is the uh, area of the uh, circle so this is the shaded and you are asked to find the area of this quadrant. The choices are, now take note, our given 10 centimeter is the radius. That's the radius. That's the radius. And these are the options, which later we decide which of these uh, options is the correct answer in finding the, uh, the area of the quadrant. Okay, next one. Letter A, 78 square centimeter. Letter B, 78.5 square centimeter. Letter C, 7.85 square centimeter. Letter D, 0 0.78 square centimeter. And letter E, 0 0.785 square centimeter. Okay? The only way to, for you to find out which of these options is the correct answer in finding the area of the quadrant is to work it out. Okay? And you have three minutes to do that one in the national examination. Let's start. So let me now erase this uh, uh, question number five. And thus this one is now question number six. Again, let me tell you the uh, video that you are going to watch is going to be uh, uh, per question, per item. So as, at least you can decide which particular uh, item you are having difficulty and you decide to watch it instead of having a very long video. Okay, now, uh, this is what you're going to do. You have to, in your rough uh, paper, you have to draw again this quadrant. Okay, it's a right angle triangle and this radius over here. Okay, that's the radius has a measurement of 10 centimeter okay 10 centimeter okay now you don't have to panic and you are asked to use as pi equals 3.14 you're not going to use the pi as 20, uh, 22 over 7 because the value is stated there because the options are expressed in decimal okay so quadrant is a quarter of a circle now go back to the area of the circle area of the circle is equal to pi r square this is the formula that you are going to use if you are calculating the full area of the circle you understand okay because it is a quadrant means a quarter of a circle then the formula now becomes Area of the quadrant is equal to 1 quarter multiplied by pi r square. Where do we get 1 quarter? 1 quarter is because it is only a quadrant. 1 fourth of a circle. 1 quarter of a circle. So 1 fourth times pi r square. Or you can rewrite this one as pi r square divided by 4 okay so the area now of the quadrant you substitute the value the area of the quadrant is 3 uh, i mean the pi is 3.14 open and close bracket i am using the bracket so that uh, it will uh, signify that the operation that we are using is multiplication and you will not get confused Okay, multiply that one by the radius. The radius is 10. So you have 10 to the power of 2. Take note, huh? 10 to the power of 2, meaning that 
you are going to multiply 10 by itself 2 times because the power or the exponent is 2 divided by 4. So therefore, the area of the quadrant now is you have to do it step by step so that you, you will really secure the correct answer and you decide which of these options here A, B, C, D, E is the correct answer and that you will score high. So we have 3.14 multiplied by the square of 10, meaning 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So that's 100 divided by 4. Okay, so what's the, the best thing here that we could do in order for us to, uh, to, uh, short, to shorten it or to do the shortcut? Okay, if you want to do the shortcut, you can multiply 3.14 times 100. And because you are multiplying it by the power of 100 with respect to the number of zeros, then you can move the decimal point two times with respect to the number of zeros. Okay, so that would be now 1, 2, so this is now 314 divided by 4. Okay, the area of the quadrant is 314 uh, divided by 4. So here, let's, uh, let's come this way. Which way? Okay, let's come this way. All right, this way is the right one. Okay, so we can divide 314 divided by uh, 4. Okay, 314 divided by 4. So 3 divided by 4 cannot be, so we have to continue 31. 31 divided by 4 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. The operation here is minus, so 31 minus 28, or 1 minus, so this, this uh, 1 becomes 11, this 3 becomes 2, 11 minus 8 is equal to 3, okay? Bring down this 4, so you have now 34. 34 divided by 4 is... 8 okay 8 times 4 is 32 my operation here is subtraction 4 minus 2 is 2 okay decimal point decimal point add 0 bring down that 0 over here now you have 20 20 divided by 4 is 5 5 times 4 is 20. And remainder now is 0. Therefore, the area of the quadrant, the area of the quadrant is equal to 78.5 square centimeter. Thus, the correct answer is letter... What's a letter? Letter B. Letter B is the correct answer, which is the area is 78.5 square centimeter. The same answer that we got here for, the, uh, for our calculation, which is the area of the quadrant is 78.5 square centimeter. Okay, so this is uh, question number six for Mathematics Grade 10 Pass Exam Paper 2010. Okay, this is Mr. Delicious signing off. And let's, uh, the next video is for question number seven. Watch, subscribe, and tell other uh, grade 10 students in Papua New Guinea, in the country, and in other parts of the world uh, to have this revision in preparation for the national examination. Bye.